This question is all about uncertainty. It's from the unit two of the AS Physics. Um, the first thing they want us to do is relatively straightforward. Um, they want us to go and find from the um, formula sheet that R equals rho resistivity length over area. But we have to rearrange it so that we have resistivity on its own. So that's going to be resistivity is equal to R A over length. And then we need to collect um, an extra bit of info, actually, which is that the area, the cross-sectional area of this, is equal to pi d squared over 4. Okay, so um, if we put the numbers in, so we get 2.2 .2 for the resistance times uh, pi, and that's 0.48. Now, that's in millimetres in the question. We'll need it in metres times 10 to the minus 3, and that squared, that's a bit of a mess this one, uh, all over 4, and all of that is over 0 0.812, because that needs to be in metres as well, and it's millimetres up here. So a bit of number bashing on the calculator, and I get 2.2 .2 times 1.81 times 10 to the minus 7 over... 0.812, and that's equal to 4.9 times 10 to the minus 7 ohms. Um, that's going to be ohms per meter. So calculate the absolute uncertainty. That's the next part of the question. Um, this one, again, is a bit of number bashing. So they want us to recognize that we've got no repeat values, so the uncertainty in each measurement is equal to the resolution of the instrument. So uh, I have to work them out for each one, so that's going to be 1 millimetre divided by the 812 millimetres, and that's times 100 because we're going to go for percents, and that's equal to 0.12%. I've got 0 0.01 divided by the uh, 0.48, so that's this one this time. Uh, maybe it would help if I do length, and then we'll do diameter, and then we'll do resistance in a moment. Okay, again, times by 100. This time that's going to give me 2.0%. Now, do you remember up here how it was d squared? That means this error happens twice. So it's going to be 2 times 2.0%, uh, which is equal to 4%. Uh, and in R, we're going to have uh, uh, 0.1, sorry, 0.1 divide by 2.2, and that's going to give me, times 100, that's going to give me 4.6%. So when I add all of them up, I get uh, total percentage uncertainty is equal to 4 plus 4.6 plus 0.12 and that is 8.72 percent but we've not quite finished yet because what it actually wants me to do is calculate the absolute uncertainty so I need to use my um, answer from up here which is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 7 and I need to find what is 8.72 of it so I'm going to do 8.72 divided by 100, so that's just my conversion there, and that's all equal to 4.27 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms per meter. Now, it could be bigger or smaller, so I'm just going to put plus or minus in front to finish off, okay? And then lastly, it wants to suggest one way that we could improve this. So... You'll notice that this one here is tiny. That's the biggest one there. So improving that one is going to have the, one of the biggest overall effects, or diameter, but explaining the diameter is harder. So what I could do is I could use a greater length. Now, if I use a greater length, the percentage uncertainty in the length measurement will go down. But because it's so small anyway, it's not going to have much of an effect. If I use a greater length, I will get a higher resistance on the wire. Now, that was at 4%, so if the, the um, value of resistance goes up, then the percentage uncertainty will go down. 
So um, I need to say use a greater length so R increases and there is a proportional decrease in its percentage uncertainty. Okay, I hope that was helpful.